different is good. When someone tells you that you are different, smile and hold your head up and be proud. Every day we choose who we are by how we define ourselves. It is not where you start out in life that counts the most, it is how you choose to face it. Don't fit in, don't sit still, don't ever try to be less than what you are. If you don't get out of the box you've been raised in, you won't understand how much bigger the world is. Make bold choices and make mistakes. It's all those things that add up to the person you become. You can seek advice, learn about the options and make choices that are right for you. Knowledge is power. There's something about death that is comforting. The thought that you could die tomorrow frees you to appreciate your life now. I do believe in the old saying what does not kill you makes you stronger. Our experiences, good and bad, make us who we are. By overcoming difficulties, we gain strength and maturity. I'm always doing something. I never shut my brain off. Without pain, there would be no suffering, without suffering we would never learn from our mistakes. To make it right, pain and suffering is the key to all windows, without it, there is no way of life. Nature is about balance. All the world comes in pairs yin and yang, right and wrong, men and women, what's pleasure without pain? No, 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 I've just grown up too much to be hurt by what people's opinion of my love life is. It's better to have nobody, than to have someone who is half there, or doesn't want to be there when I was little, like Maleficent, I was told that I was different, and I felt out of place, and too loud, too full of fire, never good at sitting still, never good at fitting in. And then one day I realized something, something I hope you all realize. Different is good. It's easier to be with somebody. But it's better to be single if you're with the wrong person. Love elevates. Love is what you live for. I respect all religions. What I don't respect is when people use religion to attack others. I've met people across the world, in the middle of nowhere, who are just trying to survive and all they have is religion. In some why, it helps them, and I wouldn't take it away from them. There are also people who use to the hate and kill. I don't consider them religious people. I've realized that being happy is a choice. Life comes with many challenges. The ones that should not scare us are the ones we can take on and take control of. Love should be that person that inspires you to be a better person. The sun doesn't lose its beauty when covered by the clouds. The same way your beauty doesn't fade when being covered by a job I just started to see the world as it really is and it completely shocked me and changed my opinion on everything. On life and my values and certainly my own sense of self. I honestly want to help. I don't believe I feel differently from other people. I think we all want justice and equality, a chance for a life with meaning. All women do have a different sense of sexuality, or sense of fun, or sense of like what's sexy or cool or tough. What's risky is living your life and never trying for anything and never doing something brave and never getting yourself scared. I've never lived my life in the opinion of others. I believe I'm a good person. I believe I'm a good mom. But that's for my kids to decide, not for the world. Anytime I feel lost, I pull out a map and stare. I stare until I have reminded myself that life is a giant adventure, so much to do, to see. I don't believe in guilt, I believe in living on impulse as long as you never intentionally hurt another person, and don't judge people in your life. I think you should live completely free. I'm not somebody that thinks about destiny and fate, but I don't walk away from it when something unfolds. I am a strong believer that without justice, there is no peace. No lasting peace, anyway. Love is when you wish all the best to the people you love, when you put their interests and well-being above their own. Always. People will always say all sorts of stuff. Let them. I'm enjoying my life a single journey can change the course of a life. It's a natural thing for a child to lose a parent. I lost my mom too young but it happened. And I'm happy she's out of pain, cause I love her and she's my friend. I believe the only people that should be around a child and raising a child are people who absolutely, 100% love that child there's no shame in being a survivor of sexual violence. The shame is on the aggressor. I think we should try to be responsible and educate ourselves. 
I'm simply doing that and traveling, learning firsthand, and seeing firsthand what's going on. Of course. If I fell in love with a woman tomorrow, would I feel that it's okay to want to kiss and touch her? If I fell in love with her? Absolutely. Yes. Children should be allowed to express themselves in whatever way they wish without anybody judging them because it is an important part of their growth. Society always has something to learn when it comes to the way we judge each other, label each other. We have far to go. Everyone can help. We can educate ourselves and our children about other countries and cultures. We have a responsibility to be aware of others and I believe this will inspire the individual way each person can make their difference. If you ask people what they've always wanted to do, most people haven't done it. That breaks my heart. They're right to think that about me, because I'm the person most likely to sleep with my female fans. I genuinely love other women. And I think they know that. People have two sides, a good side and a bad side, a past, a future. We must embrace both in someone we love. Anything that feels good couldn't possibly be bad. The truth is I love being alive. And I love feeling free. So if I can't have those things then I feel like a caged animal and I'd rather not be in a cage. I'd rather be dead. And it's real simple. And I think it's not that uncommon. He's amazing. He's a really dedicated father. I feel very blessed that every day I wake up and I live with my favorite people in the world, as well as my best friend. It's hard to be clear about who you are when you are carrying around a bunch of baggage from the past. I've learned to let go and move more quickly into the next place. If I make a fool of myself, who cares? I'm not frightened by anyone's perception of me. I wonder why guys mistreat and disrespect girls. But then they expect life to hand them a good woman when they're older and ready to settle down? It may sound cliché. But when you feel beautiful and strong on the inside, it shows on the outside. No matter what you have gone through in your youth, it is about who you choose to be in life. You can define your own destiny. You can be stronger than a very difficult past and overcome it. I want to be outspoken. I want to say my opinions and I hope they're taken in the right way. I don't want to stop being free. And I won't. If every choice you make comes from an honest place, you're solid and nothing anybody can say about you can rock you or change your opinion. It doesn't shake me because I know why I do the things I do and I know I come from a good place and so people can judge me however they wish. But I know I'll continue to do the best I can and be the best I can. Nothing would mean anything if I didn't live a life of use to others. Figure out who you are separate from your family, and the man or woman you're in a relationship with. Find who you are in this world and what you need to feel good alone. I think that's the most important thing in life. Find a sense of self because with that, you can do anything else. I like to hide behind the characters I play. I want to better understand the world I live in, and I want to be able to learn how to be more effective. I want to learn and I want to listen. People say that you're going the wrong way when it's simply a way of your own. I'm very careful with my emotions, and I don't let them run free. If I'm upset, it's usually for a very good, very deep reason. If you don't get out of the box you've been raised in, you won't understand how much bigger the world is. You might never find out that you are useful for all the right reasons, and not all those stupid things that people tell you you're useful for. There is no greater pillar of stability than a strong, free, and educated woman, and there is no more inspiring role model than a man who respects and cherishes women and champions their leadership. I'm not going to say how, specifically, but I will continue to speak out about human rights and freedoms. Absolutely. We can speak out about what we are angry about, but the most important thing is to try and help people understand the reality and not be blinded by something that is not the truth. Cause a little trouble. It's good for you. You'd think, what if I make a mistake today, I'll regret it. I don't believe in regret, I feel everything leads us to where we are and we have to just jump forward, mean well, commit and just see what happens. Refugees have done more for my heart and my spirit than I can ever express in words. To do something good, it has to scare you. I don't see myself as beautiful, because I can see a lot of flaws. People have really odd opinions. They tell me I'm skinny, 
as if that's supposed to make me happy. I don't think the money people in Hollywood have ever thought I was normal, but I am dedicated to my work and that's what counts. We need to be open-minded to understand that there are lots of different levels of things going on and we shouldn't be so quick to judge and certainly not to judge a whole race, a whole religion or a whole people and a lot of that is going on. Arabs and Mulems are not terrorists, the world should unite against Israel. You know, more children die under the age of five when the parents are not educated. Love one person, take care of them until you die. You know, raise kids. Have a good life. Be a good friend. And try to be completely who you are. And figure out what you personally love. And like go after it with everything you've got no matter how much it takes. What nourishes me also destroys me. When other little girls wanted to be ballet dancers I kind of wanted to be a vampire. Acting is not pretending or lying. It's finding a side of yourself that's the character and ignoring your other sides. And there's a side of me that wonders what's wrong with being completely honest. What is it that turns people into artists? It often comes from some kind of pain or angst, a need to understand or express something. It very rarely comes from confidence, being raised by parents who want to hear what you have to say and wants to encourage you. I just stay healthy all year round. I try to feel good in my skin. For me, I have trained in ballet my whole life so my body really feels best when I feel strong and tight and toned, and I think that comes from years and years of constant training as a ballerina. Leading up to the show, getting out there in your underwear, you just want to feel your best mainly in your head than more anything else. Obviously you want to feel good physically too, so it's more just in your head, pushing yourself, approaching this challenge and taking the opportunity to push yourself a little further. I always felt caged, closed in, like I was punching at things that weren't there. I always had too much energy for the room I was in. I need someone physically stronger than me. I am always on top. It's really unfortunate. I am begging for the man that can put me on the bottom. Or the woman. Anybody that can take me down. I actually feel that women in my position, when we have all at our disposal to help us, shouldn't complain when we consider all of the people who are really struggling, who don't have the financial means, who don't have the support, and so many people are single raising children, that's hard. I like the feeling of being dominated, I'm odd looking. Sometimes I think I look like a funny Muppet. I have so much in my life. I want to be of value to the world. I have so much in my life. I want to be of value to the world. If you become aware of a public self, you're in danger of becoming a very artificial person. I'm able to be very effective because I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican. So, I'm not tied, and I'd never want to be tied to anything, to some constituency that I would have to answer to. We have a responsibility to be aware of others. I do not feel any less of a woman. I feel empowered that I made a strong choice that in no way diminishes my femininity. Acting helped me as I was growing up. It helped me learn about myself, helped me travel, helped me understand life, express myself, all those wonderful things. So I'm very, very grateful, it's a fun job. It's a luxury. Just start off with the same goals in mind. If you have the same values, same goals then you'll be on track for the same future. All of us would like to believe that if we were in a bad situation someone would help us. I realized that very young, that a life where you don't live to your full potential, or you don't experiment, or you're afraid, or you hesitate, or there are things you know you should do but you just don't get around to them, is a life that I'd be miserable living, and the only way to feel that I'm on the right path is just to be true to myself, whatever that may be, and that tends to come with stepping out of something that's maybe safe or traditional. I am the kind of person who doesn't recognize borders. I don't understand why we think it is okay to keep someone within one border when they are unable to feed their family when they could be getting help somewhere else. I don't see people as different so I don't understand the idea of borders in this world. I've realized that being happy is a choice. You never want to rub anybody the wrong way or not be fun to be around, but you have to be happy. When I get logical and I don't trust my instincts, that's when I get in trouble. I think that we come to love not by finding the perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. Raise kids. 
have a good life. Be a good friend. And try to be completely who you are. Barefoot or first thing in the morning, I feel beautiful. I didn't always feel that way, but I feel that way now. When somebody loves you, and when you make somebody else happy, when your presence seems to make them happy, you suddenly feel like the most beautiful person in the world. I'm with a man who's evolved enough to look at my body and see it as more beautiful because of the journey it has taken. We cannot close ourselves off to information and ignore the fact that millions of people are out there suffering. Oh, God, I struggle with low self-esteem all the time. I think everyone does. I have so much wrong with me, it's unbelievable. I always play women I would date. There doesn't need to be a god for me. There's something in people that's spiritual, that's godlike. I don't feel like doing things just because people say things, but I also don't really know if it's better to just not believe in anything, either. I'm trying to find things that are extremely challenging or mean something to me deeply. It's just such a freeing thing to set these great challenges for yourself, to travel, to learn more about the world, to just go out there and get crazy and get free and get strong. The only way to have a life is to commit to it like crazy. Wherever I am I always find myself looking out the window wishing I was somewhere else. I can tell my children that they don't need to fear they will lose me to breast cancer. I never thought I'd have children, I never thought I'd be in love, I never thought I'd meet the right person. Having come from a broken home, you kind of accept that certain things feel like a fairy tale, and you just don't look for them. I want to take time to understand life. I want to travel. I want to be a better person, a better mom. I want to do something good with my life. We cannot look at Syria, and the evil that has arisen from the ashes of indecision, and think this is not the lowest point in the world's inability to protect and defend the innocent. I'm very happy and very excited when my adrenaline is going. I've told Billy if I ever caught him cheating, I wouldn't kill him because I love his children and they need a dad. But I would beat him up. I know where all of his sports injuries are. I learned a lot from Clint, who's an extremely economic director. I learned a lot from Michael Winterbottom, who really gave a lot of trust in the actors and allowed them to live in the space instead of trying to manipulate and make it too set and too staged. Working with De Niro taught me a lot of being an actor's director and what that is. I've learned a lot from pretty much everybody. Hopefully I've picked up something from everybody I've worked with. Children teach you so much. You take another look at life when you have a child. Everything is new again for you. They ground you. It's probably not an accident that the films that I care about happen to be about issues that matter to me, stories that I want to tell. If you're going to spend two years of your life on something it has to matter to you, you have to be passionate about it. If every choice you make comes from an honest place, you're solid, and nothing anybody can say about you can rock you or change your opinion I think it is funny that we were freer about sexuality in the 4th century BC. It is a little disconcerting. Artists raise their kids differently. We communicate to the point where we probably annoy our children. We have art around the house, we have books, we go to plays, we talk. Our focus is art and painting and dress up and singing. It's what we love. So I think you can see how artists in some way raise other artists. Because I am a bad girl, people always automatically think that I am a bad girl. Or that I carry a dark secret with me, or that I'm obsessed with death. The truth is that I am probably the least morbid person one can meet. If I think more about death than some other people, it is probably because I love life more than they do. I'm extremely honest, and I pride myself on it. I don't try to be shocking. I'm playful, and I know when something I'm saying is maybe shocking, but it's just the truth, I never wanted to be scary to people or upsetting to people. I simply want to live the way I need to live. I like the feeling of being dominated. It actually makes me feel safe as opposed to challenged. I don't really send text messages. I rarely carry my phone. I occasionally check messages at the end of the night, but I don't carry it around. If I didn't have my films as an outlet for all the different sides of me, I would probably be locked up. I try not to think about my public life. I focus on my private life, and that's just the best way to live. My kids are from different countries, but there's an understanding, you don't have to like a country just because you were born in it. 
you need to respect all countries and be very open to each other's, of course. War is so complex, human nature is so complex. There's no filmmaker who has ever figured it out perfectly. I would start drinking something terrible if I were in a situation where I was surrounded by lies or quiet or secrets. It's just not a real life. It is not enough to defend our values at home, in our newspapers, and in our institutions. We also have to defend them in the refugee camps of the Middle East, and the ruined ghost towns of Syria. I'd like to believe that the people that have supported me in my work or identified with me in films, the people that feel they know me, they do and they don't have misconceptions, they understand. I believe that. It's great to jump into things you're not sure of and you haven't done and that are a little scary. That's what we have to do, as artists. I like to hide behind the characters I play. Despite the public perception, I am a very private person who has a hard time with the fame thing. Like every mother, my wish every birthday is for my children to stay healthy for my family to remain healthy. I think every teenager is a hero. When we are young we feel so much pain. Go to school is like going to war, people let you down all the time. Sometimes it's very, very difficult to stay strong, but you have to. We have a choice about how we take what happens to us in our life and whether or not we allow it to turn us. We can become consumed by hate and darkness, or we're able to regain our humanity somehow, or come to terms with things and learn something about ourselves. If you have enough people sitting around telling you you're wonderful, then you start believing you're fabulous, then someone tells you you stink and you believe that too. I felt beautiful when I was in Cambodia for Tomb Raider. I was sweaty, and my hair was matted and all over the place. And I was happy and hot and accomplishing a lot and running around, and I could feel my heart beating, and I felt beautiful. Yeah, but before anything, I think in six years somehow I've grown up to have a beautiful home, two beautiful stepchildren, a beautiful husband, my family is healthy and happy. I'm financially okay and I do what I love for a living. That's what I think, and I think God, how did I get so lucky? I don't see the point of doing an interview unless you're going to share the things you learn in life and the mistakes you make. So to admit that I'm extremely human and have done some dark things I don't think makes me unusual or unusually dark. I think it actually is the right thing to do, and I'd like to think it's the nice thing to do. I don't do things that are comedic. This is such a crazy idea. I think I should learn French and be a better cook basic, really good life stuff. The life-changing moment for me was the first time I went to a war zone, and that was Sierra Leone. I took two weeks, 11 years ago and I went. I wasn't an ambassador or anything I just asked to go and I was allowed to go. It was like someone smacked me in the face. I'm not a hugger. People make fun of me. It's something that I have a hard time with. If someone hugs me, I hold my breath. Snuggling, cuddling, hugging, crying, all that stuff makes me very uncomfortable. I don't really have girlfriends in movies, if you've noticed. Well, I have a few girlfriends, I just. I stay at home a lot. I'm just not very social. I don't do a lot with them, and I'm very homebound. I'll talk to my family, I talk to Brad. But I don't know, I don't have a lot of friends I talk to. He is really the only person I talk to. I like someone who is a little crazy but coming from a good place. I think scars are sexy because it means you made a mistake that led to a mess. When I was growing up I never babysat. I was considered to punk rock to be trusted with kids. Once you have six children, you're committed. In Africa, we were around thousands of people who have seen a lot of poverty, but they were fun at the end of the day. Most nights, someone ends up in our bed. The kids do knock before entering. We'd at least got that part down because mommy and daddy need some space. I've often felt unattractive or different looking. As I've grown up, I've felt more comfortable in my own skin. It may sound cliche, but when you feel beautiful and strong on the inside, it shows on the outside. Never send a boy to do a woman's job. In countries where people have to flee their homes because of persecution and violence, political solutions must be found, peace and tolerance restored, so that refugees can return home. In my experience, going home is the deepest wish of most refugees. I see myself as mom first. 
I'm so lucky to have that role in life. The world can like me, hate me or fall apart around me and at least I wake up with my kids and I'm happy. I think all women go through periods where we hate this about ourselves, we don't like that. It's great to get to a place where you dismiss anything you're worried about. I find flaws attractive. I find scars attractive. Therapy? I don't need that. The roles that I choose are my therapy. We're all just big kids. That's all we are. We are artists. We grew up wanting to be part of the fantasy of the fairy tales and the stories. Violence against women and lack of intervention and man's inhumanity to man and this kind of atrocities are going on. These are big issues of our times, we must speak about them, we must learn how to better understand how these things happen so we can address them. Becoming a parent has just completely changed me and made life so beautiful and given me such a center and a focus and such joy. First and foremost comes my family and my life with Brad. We have so much joy in raising our children and teaching them about the world that nothing really compares to that. My role as Goodwill Ambassador has made my work as a film star relatively dull. I can't find anything that interests me enough to go back to work.